yeah boy yes guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to vinci vibe plus guys it's so early in the morning right now it's like seven o'clock yeah i just received a call that they caught some blackfish they're over there bringing them ashore in a minute i'm gonna take you guys over there for those of you guys who don't know what blackfish look like before it's cut up right blackfish is what you get trips from and i'm gonna show you guys um, what they got as you see they are taking one back out on the boat and one is over there on the land so we're gonna go over there i'm gonna show you guys blackfish first how go on what like blackfish now yes guys so i'm gonna show you what a blackfish look like i can see that there's two over here in the ground and you guys gonna be intrigued and these are small this one that you're seeing here are small there's there's some bigger ones that you can see right so as i said it's still early i've been called and now i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you the blackfish let me take off my slippers guys they're gonna cut them up in a while and you will see how the rock rips is made Battery. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. This is it right here, guys. This is called a blackfish. This is this is a blackfish right here, up close and personal. And Vince Vibe is bringing it to you, live and direct. The boat, the boat just went over there. I think the other one. It's going straight over to Butlong Glass because over there they have um, a place also where they cut where they usually cut up the blackfish and here so let me show you the other one this is one and the other one is over here I'm going Pablo <laughs> yeah this is the other one right there guys when <laughs> here there's the other one here guys Of course and personal See the teeth? Look at the teeth Look at the teeth guys So they're gonna start the cutting process in a while I'm gonna show you all that Everybody who's gonna cut up is not here as yet So we're gonna stick around a while and when the cutting process start, I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you the bloody part because you know how it goes with YouTube and that. Right? So, tell <laughs> We're gonna exclude that bloody part. But yeah, here you are, blackfish, up close and personal. Stay tuned for the rest of it, guys. All right, all right, guys. So the cutting process has started. I just showed you a whole blackfish even before it was cut. Now, cutting process has started. There's not much blood there, so it should be okay. Right? This part. This part is the skin. Right there. Right. This part is the skin. That's where you get the crypts from. Let's go over here to the table. And you will see. This. You cut off the skin in layers. And then so that's where you get the crypt from. Just like this. Cut them into strips and then you cut them in small box pieces. And that is going to be your crypt. Uh, like yeah, you're, you're doing right here. Finish. Money board. In the pan. You're right here, man. You're money board. You're right here. You're right here. The meat that you guys love. Wild <laughs> bull. Yeah. 
So let's say they call this part again? The meat part. The black. The black. The meat part. The part. The meat part. The skin. The skin is the meat. Right. The part. You have to ask. You have to do like a cat. Right. Yeah. Right. So guys, let me show you. Let me show you something. You see this bamboo? This bamboo that you are seeing here. All these bamboos. If you ever come to um, Barley, and you always see the blackfish hanging on these bamboos. These are the bamboos that you put the blackfish to dry on. You hang them. You hang them on the on the bamboo. They dry, and when they are dry enough, then you take them down. I don't know the process, but that's what you call the, bly, the dry blackfish. The one that you hang in the bamboo for a couple of days. I don't know how many days, but put it here, and then after that, it's good to go. So that's, that's the one that the lady is cutting up on the table there. That's that part. So you see guys, when you see a, a blackfish that before it's cut up, there's a lot, a lot of work that goes into that. A lot of work that goes into that. After they caught, they catch a blackfish, they bring it ashore. You have to have the squad of men or men and women who come. They have one especially who cuts the blackfish head off and the one that take off the skin and put it on the table. And you have the other set of people that cut it into small pieces, make the crypts from and the other part of it. Right? So, again, these bamboos are what you hang the blackfish on so let me show you again for those of you who didn't see let me show you the blackfish that we hang on this one that one becomes a dry blackfish that's that yeah this is the one Alright guys, I'm gonna show you a perfect, perfect example. You're gonna go from, from this, from this, and this is what you get from it. Kuchu. This is it right here guys. After it's dried, this is called dry black fish right here. So, if you get a small piece, like, um, yeah, it becomes black after after it's red. It just cut. It, it's red. And then after it's cut. Look, we have peace here, guys. There's the salt. The salt that was used to preserve it while it's been hung on the bamboo. That's what you're tasting right now. So from that. Meat skin. Over to this. Very salty. Very salty guys. Wow. Yes guys, beautiful day here in St. Vincent and Grenadines Barley, my hometown. And backtrack again, they caught some blackfish, there's two here. And guys, I've been longing to do one of these videos for you, but the thing is, every time they catch blackfish, I'm always at work. And as I said before, I got a, a call this morning from my brother, and he said, oh, they have, they have blackfish, because he living just up there on the hill, so he can see if there's any blackfish in the, in the bay. And then he gave me a call, I was like, yeah, I'm going. So now here I am, and the blackfish here cut up live and in, and in full color. Blackfish, blackfish crips is something you definitely have to try, guys. Right? Alright, so stay tuned for more. So, alright, guys, let me show you the process of hanging the blackfish out. This is what they are gonna do right now. Just like when you wash your clothes, you hang it on the line. 
This is the process now. And the sun is out in all its glory. Check it out. <laughs> oh, go on. Yeah, the sun is out in all its glory. So, we're gonna be hanging them here on these bamboos. I had a self. <laughs> yeah, guys, we are well, yeah, a real life hustle here, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm going by the crew, by the, um, the yachts, them selling the goods, them. Right, banana. Come on, no man. Come on, no man. Just know. Them, no, them I don't have already. They had already? Yes, I'm not sure they're not right now. This one, all right. So, what? Um, Okay. okay. So well do just give them bread, ice and all them things. Well me don't really fight up that people don't want that me deal with that right, them right. but me personal barbecue. Barbecue. Come on. Water fall. True, true, true. Little true, true. hiking. True. true. Understand I'm all kind of different things, you know. Yeah, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Yeah man guys, a real hustler there right yeah, there. Man. Yeah man, everything banana, going by the, the yacht, all the yachts in the port. Yeah, man supply the yachts never. Yeah, with a little stuff that they want. What's up? <laughs> guys, look at this boy, Josh. Reads back on the channel. <laughs> We're doing here, boy. Yeah, guys, this is the hanging out of blackfish. Hanging out like clothes, you know, when you wash it. <laughs> Man, hanging out the clothes, just the wash. <laughs> this is it, guys, with all the salt and everything. Bro, how much days is it gonna stay here before you die? Just today? Okay. Okay, okay. So if no if no rain, I'll I'll be leaving it there until it dry dry. <laughs> yeah, so guys he say he's just gonna leave it here for today. Because obviously if you leave it overnight people can take it. So what he does, he hangs it and when it's a little bit dry in the evening he takes it up. And then maybe tomorrow they bring it and they hang it again. And they keep on doing the process until it's, it's dry. And then it's ready to be, to be sold. Right? They still have a good bit here to hang out. And they are still cutting up over there. So when they finish cutting it up, they will go and get it from them and bring it and hang it. Guys, this job is a very, very bloody, bloody work. Yeah, I gotta be careful that I don't get any blood on my clothes. And, uh, I can get close to where the process is taking place, but I can't get too close. But it's a very, very bloody, 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 bloody work. You know, everything is blood. And from, you cut off the head of the blackfish, and then you start to cut up the body, Start to cut it up in pieces to get the crypts and everything. It's blood from beginning to end. So if you're gonna come to do this, you gotta wear some clothes that you know that you can take the blood. Don't wear any of your good clothes to the beach. Me, I just put this on because I just get the call very, very, very early this morning. So I just pick up whatever I can get because I didn't want to miss this for sure. I wanted it to get it whole before it, it's cut up. Alright guys, so this is Barley. Barley right here. But long grass over on the other side. Yeah. So we're gonna leave him let him finish hanging up the blackfish over there. We're gonna go back over here to where the cutting process is still going on. It's still in full effect guys. And depends on how fast they are and how big the blackfish is. It can take a couple of hours before the blackfish is finished fully cutting up. When they extract all the part that they need, but the part that they don't need, like the guts and some parts like that that they throw, throw away. Yeah, it can take a good while before everything is finished cleaning. Alright, so just stay tuned and keep keep it locked. I have you guys, I have your back today. Alright? Alright guys. Fire! There's fire already. There's one pan on the fire. Yeah. 
Yeah, so one pan is on the fire already and that water gets hot. I'm gonna show you the whole process guys, don't worry. You don't have anywhere to go. I'm gonna show you the whole process. When this water gets hot, I'm gonna show you when I put the crips in and when it's melted. Even if I don't show you like the finished product when it's melted, at least I'm gonna show you whatever I can show you guys today, okay? This is an in-depth, in-depth video of blackfish catching in barley. How it's well, it's not how it's caught, but how it's prepared, how it's cut up, and how it's caught and everything. Do you see already? Things is going in. Alright, stay tuned for the rest. Everybody's still busy, guys. I mean guys to preserve it. This is what she's doing here. She's turning salt in it. Because before you before she hangs it on the bamboo, she has to put salt in it. Because if you don't put salt, you know what's gonna happen. You put it in the oven, it, there will be maggots, there will be all kind of worms and all kind of things eating that meat. So you have to put a lot of salt in it to preserve it. As it takes a couple of days or a couple of weeks, well, however long it takes to dry. So that's just, let's take in the process of the salt. Nicholas, I'm done if any wood stuff was to the food five with some fun. I'm sorry for it gets with that. Salt, salt, salt. Is any closer come? I don't know how to because I left my block to go down this way. Yes, guys, that's the salt process being done right there. Right. So let's stay tuned and see what and see what's going on when everything is cut up. All right. Yeah, shell up on it. Turn it around the crypt. These are not gonna take any time guys because as as what they say the black is um young so the meat will be much softer so it's gonna take like uh 45 minutes some say 30 minutes before the crypt is ready and this is the first first time i'm gonna have me some fresh fresh crypts right off the fire i never had it in my life i only have it like a couple days after when it was made now we're gonna see what it is we'll eat it just off the fire all right guys yeah we're still on base here as i said nowhere to go i'm gonna give you guys a full video of this whole blackfish process all right all you guys in america canada yes blackfish video coming your way in survival so all right guys a while back i was showing you the teeth of the blackfish but it was inside the blackfish mouth and luckily I was cleaning up the place because I know the I know the people them. I was cleaning up the place and look what I found. Blackfish teeth. 
This one we use to make necklace. You put a piece of twine on it and it'll be hanging. It'll be hanging like this. Yeah, so this is the black fish sheet. Let me show you again how it's looking in the mouth. So that's the teeth, that's the teeth right there. See? Teeth. Yeah, that's the black fish teeth. Yeah, so in a while, as they are cutting the, um, the blackfish skin into strips to make the crips, after he's finished cutting everything in, into um, strips, and he's gonna cut them to the suitable size to make the crips. I'll show you that process in a while, but for now, I'm just gonna let them do their thing, and after a while, we'll go over there and see what they're up to. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, I hope you're enjoying this video. This video has been long, long overdue. It was up on my last channel, but now I have the opportunity to bring it to you guys. Make sure you share the video, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Got my blackfish sheet, I'm gonna keep this for a souvenir. This is going home with me. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, I walked you through the whole process from when the blackfish is whole, from cutting it up to pieces, the making of the crips, and it was a good one. It was a good one. As I said, I've been longing to do a video like this. And let's, let's taste a piece of the fresh crips that I've just came out. Um, like this piece, this piece has the salt in it, right? Um, what some of the people do, who's making the crips, they don't add the salt. When you come to buy it, you can add the salt for yourself. When they are going in town to sell it, they will have their pepper, their salt, and they will just have the blackfish in the bag. When you buy it, you add your salt, you add your pepper to your liking, right? So we're gonna taste this piece with the salt in it, and I'm gonna give you a review of how it's tasting. Remember, this is fresh blackfish crips. Just, just made, just came off the fire, all right? Soft, oily, just a little bit salty, but good, very soft. I had crips already that was very, very hard, but this one is soft. All right, so guys, I'm gonna bring this video to an end. Thank you for sticking around, thank you for watching the whole process. I'm right there at the beach. Blackfish is still blackfish is still being cut up in the back there. Wow, delicious, delicious. Alright guys, so as I always say, if you wanna find the latest vlogs, nature coming out of St. Vincent, subscribe to YouTube um, to my YouTube channel, Vinci Vibe Plus. And it was good having you guys around today. Right here in my neighborhood again. Barley, my hometown. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking. So until the next one finds us, how we find the next one? It's Vince Vibe Bloss saying, love God, love people. Man, always do good guys. Because when you do good, there's always a reward for you. And good will always come back to you. So, from our nice beach here, on our nice tongue, barley, peace out, God bless. See you in the next one. All my regulars, all the new subscribers, welcome to the family. All the regulars, you know who you are. Bless up. Have yourself a good day. Have yourself a good week. Layla Douglas, it's been a while since I've shouted you up. So, hope all is well with you and the family. Alright, see you in the next one, guys. Peace out. Bless up.